Yeah, I love Orange County. I really do. Uh, you know, born and raised here and now living in South County, Dana Point um, versus Huntington Beach. And I really just love the entire county. You know, I love the people. Uh, gets a little crowded at times. And, uh, but, you know, I can understand why. I mean, it's really paradise. And, you know, where else can you find this? You know, it's just perfect. You know, when it presented this opportunity to make this piece, you know, I was thinking about the space. Uh, that's always the first kind of thought about what kind of space you have. Um, but then also, you know, I'm, I think I was in a stressful kind of mindset, and so I'm just looking to relieve myself of stress. And, you know, I think that this piece is just kind of a f more fun piece in that aspect where, you know, what do I need in life? I need a hammock. I need an end table with a margarita and a blender. And I need my flip-flops and, you know, maybe some, some kind of scene to look at. So, you know, that in that kind of sense, and so that's what I, I took upon myself to do, is just to create an end table. And, you know, I, the ways I go about making the stuff is, um, I use a lot of different techniques as far as throwing, uh, coil building, slab building, um, pinch potting. So um, I try to combine all of these techniques that I've learned over the years just to achieve a similar look. Um, I try not to get hung up on technique. I just try to use it to achieve what I'm trying to achieve. When I started printmaking, you start with like basic foundations. So I started with linoleum cuts and things like etchings, but very simple line etchings and slowly moving into aquatints. And I got really into etching for a short while, but nothing that I ever really exhibited. Um, I mainly exhibited lino cut work with Chincolet. And then I grew out of that and I got into monotype and monoprint, which are two forms of printmaking. Well, they fall under the same category. Uh, they're one of one images, so you only get one print. Whereas with relief or intaglio, you have additional work. Uh, with monoprint or monotype, you now only have one image. And that's where it becomes more painterly because you're not, you're working on the plate and everything that you do gets printed onto the paper and then it's gone. So it's interesting to work in, it's fun to work in, but it is, you really have to take your time and uh, not rush through it because you can end up ruining a nice piece if you've rushed through the plate. Um, I get a lot of requests from many people. Why don't you do California? Why don't you do San Francisco? Why don't you do LA? It's not that I don't like those places. I love those places. I love going to San Francisco. I love going to LA. It's just that I live in California and I've seen it and I just don't have an interest for it. It's, you know, it's a nice place to go, but for my work, I want to do what interests me. And if somebody likes that, then that's even better. I grew up in Anaheim, California, in Orange County. I was I lived, uh, raised in Orange County. Um, lived there all my life, basically, except for two years that I went uh, to school in Rochester, New York. So I'm an Orange County person, no question. The photography for me, as it is now, started about in the year 2000. And um, I bought a cheap digital camera, uh, Kodak DC280, two megapixel. And the main reason I did that is because I did a lot of hiking in the desert. And my goal was not to do photography, it was just to document some of my hikes. You know, I left, because I, I, I kept going on these, these crazy hikes in the middle of nowhere. And I'm like, I want to get, get pictures of these. You know, I want to I document these. These are pretty cool places. And so, you know, I take pictures, and then I bring them home and look at them in Photoshop and think, well, that's kind of cool looking. You know, so then I'd start manipulating them in Photoshop. And, that's really what started the whole thing. It was like I realized there's a lot of amazing stuff out there. To, and I want people to see this stuff, you know? So that's how it started. To say that there's like always particular paintings that are coming in is, it, it's like this big cornucopia, you know? I've, I've got so much stored away in my head now because I've gone to so many museums and researched so many paintings that the, the language that I speak out of my paintings now is just, it's kind of like just from this lexicon, I guess you could say, of all of these, um, these great artists. 
Um, and that's not to say that something like, you know, um, a contemporary piece, say, for even, even Shepard Fairey's um, Obama Hope pi picture wouldn't influence me, because it does. I mean, I see that. It's contemporary. It's, it's popular culture. And, and it does have influence on me. It's a very iconic image. And so, you know, there is some of that that is playing in. Definitely because I live in Orange County, I'm influenced by the surf culture, you know, Hurley's across the street from my studio. Um, so I'm going to be influenced by these guys. Um, but my, my strongest influences would be more of the 19th century guys, the, you know, the, the Baroque periods of art.